Hello friends, welcome to the full body yoga stretching class. Today we will open up all the joints, work especially on the hip mobility, on the hip opening, work on our spine, healthy posture, and we prepare our body so that by the end of the class we can deal and work on the front split and tremendously improve your flexibility and mobility. Let us get started. Please take a sitting position with the legs crossed in front of you. Make sure to cross the legs in the ankles and not too close to your body, a little bit forward. We will start by just a couple of minutes of breathing. So please place your hands on top of the knees, make a jhana mudra, index and thumb together. Keep your back straight and long and gently close your eyes. Release your whole body tensions and let go of all the thoughts. Begin to focus on your breath and if any kind of thoughts are coming towards your mind, just with discipline keep bringing your focus of attention back to your breath. Inhaling slowly, deeply through the nostrils, expanding the abdomen and exhaling fully, completely. At the end of the exhalation, exhale a bit more. Keep going deeply, inhale. Let the belly expand like a balloon and slowly, slowly breathe out. Feel how the belly button is moving closer to the spine. Keep breathing. Keep your body still and your mind silent. Steady, smooth flow of breath and calm and peaceful mind. Couple more breaths. Keep your eyes closed, let go of the breathing. Keep your natural breath, bring your palms together in front of your chest first and then rub the palms. Make them warm and hot like a fire. Now gently cover your eyes, feel the warmth of your palms, your own energy. Then place your hands on your face, on your neck, on your shoulders, on your chest area, on your belly, sides of the body, low back, hips, thighs, knees, calves, ankles, and again bring the hands together in front of your chest in a Namaskara Mudra, the greeting, and with an exhale, rest the forehead on the top of the fingertips, bring your hands back on top of the knees, and slowly open your eyes. So we have an intensive thing today, intensive practice, let us get started. Keep legs as they are, press the sitting bones down into the floor and press the outer feet also down into the floor. Lengthen the sides of the body and expand your chest and collarbones wide. With an inhale, reach your both arms up over the head, make sure elbows are straight. Exhale, interlock the fingers over the head. Inhale, press the heels of the palms up. Once again, check that you extend the side body, elbows straight, pressing the palms strongly up towards the ceiling. Then again, spread the arms, palms facing each other. With an exhale, swing your arms behind your back, interlock the fingers. If your palms are touching, squeeze the palms together, roll the shoulders back and down and open the chest forward. It means press your sternum, your breastbone forward and up. If your arms are reaching the floor, your knuckles, press the knuckles towards the floor to help you open the chest more stay for five deep breaths there. One, beautiful, two, three, each inhale moving chest forward and up, four, and five. One more time, inhale, reach over the head, Interlock the fingers, press the heels of the palms up, extend the side of the body and press the sitting bones down to the floor. 
unlock the fingers, palms facing each other, with an exhale, swing the arms behind the back, just like before. Roll the shoulders back and down, and open the chest front. We will stay for five deep breaths. Please press, if your palms are touching, press them towards each other. Squeeze your hands. One, full deep breath, two, three, wonderful, four, and five. Now, again, inhale, reach your both arms up, lengthen the back, and press the outer feet to the floor. Exhale, swing your arms sideways, keep your back flat, and place your active fingertips on the floor. Then roll the shoulders back and down, draw your shoulders to the pelvis, away from the ears, and press the shoulder blades to the back ribs. Then slowly walk your hands forward, forward, forward. Make sure your fingertips are active, then your arm muscles are switched on. Then pull the floor towards you, inhale, look at the front, open the collarbones. Then if you feel good there, just stay. But important is that you can keep your back long. Do not round the back. Then, with an, if you want to go deeper, with an exhale, bend the elbows downwards, keep your fingertips strong, look directly in between the hands. Five deep breaths there. One. Send your hips back, chest front. Two. Full focus in between your hands. Three. Lengthening the back, each inhalation. Four and five then inhale press the fingertips open the chest front straighten the back exhale walk your hands towards your right side right knee rotate your belly button towards the knee then again same way inhale look front either stay if you feel this is enough for you or if you want to go deeper bend the elbows but keep your back straight do not compromise the back stay one Two, look in between the hands. Three, four, press the left hip joint down to the floor. Five, inhale, look front, straighten the elbows. Exhale, first walk towards your center, find your center. Do not close the arms, do not open too much, in line with your shoulder. Exhale, walk towards the left side. Same way, inhale, pull the floor to you. Exhale, either stay or bend the elbows and look in between your hands. One, press the right hip down. Two, lengthen the back. Three, four, and five. Again, press the fingertips. Inhale, look front. Exhale, walk over to the center. And then with a long inhale, come up. Lengthen the back, exhale, relax. Straighten the legs, shake the legs, change the crossing. The other leg closer to you. And cross the legs in the middle of your calves, little bit forward. This time, inhale, reach over the head, lengthen the back. Keep the back long, exhale, interlock the fingers behind your back like before. Then inhale, press the palms back, open the chest front. And with an exhale, go forward. Do not think, go down, go forward. Keep the back as is, do not let it round. And look at the front. Go as far as comfortable for you, do not overdo. Move the sternum away from the belly button. Two, staying. Three. Each inhalation, lengthening the back. Four, and the front of the body. Five. Then inhale, look front and up. Exhale, turn your body towards your right knee. One more time, inhale there. Open the chest more. And exhale, go towards the right knee. Same way, do not round the back, stay. One, two, three, beautiful. Keep going, four, 
and five. Inhale, look front. Exhale, turn to the center and then over to the other side. Again, inhale there, open the chest more and exhale, go towards the left knee. Stay there for five deep breath. Keep the back straight and long. One, sternum forward, two, hips back. Three, squeeze the palms. Four, and five. Inhale, come back up and towards the center. Unlock the fingers, exhale. Again, inhale, bring your arms over the head. And with an exhale, swing them sideways down and adjust your elbows against your shin bone. So bone to bone. Then place active palms on the floor, fingers spread. Press your elbows to the shin bone and shin bones to the elbows. When you do that, you will feel that your back is getting long. Look a little bit forward and stay one. Two, press strongly. Three, wonderful. Four, and five. And finally, inhale, reach over the head. And exhale, relax. Once again, straighten the legs one by one. Shake the legs. And one more time, change the crossing of the legs. Last thing we do here is rotation of the shoulder to open the shoulder joint for the back extension. So with an inhale, straighten the arms in the front. Make sure your middle finger or your elbow is in line with the shoulder. Then turn the palms up towards the ceiling and place your active fingertips on top of the shoulders. Make sure your shoulders are not running out towards away from you, yes? So elbows looking front. Now inhale, elbows up and try not to open. Try to hug in. Then exhale sideways, down. One more time, inhale front up. Exhale sideways, down. Again, in, feel the movement. Up. Good, exhale, sideways down, feel the rotation of the shoulder, inhale up, hug in, check yourselves, exhale, down front, we reverse the direction, so inhale back, here you have a very nice rotational movement of the shoulder, hug in, exhale, down, three more times we go, inhale, hug in, Exhale, down sideways, two more. Inhale, hug in, lengthen the back. Press your hips, sitting bones down, down. One last one, inhale, hug in, lengthen the back. Then elbows front, open the palms up to the ceiling, fully stretch the elbows, then palms down, exhale, relax. Straighten the legs in front of you. We will take care of the toes. Toes and feet are the basement of our house, right? So find your sitting bones. If you feel difficulty sitting with a straight back, use the blocks underneath your pelvis so you can elevate the pelvis and feel easier. Roll the shoulders back and down. If your palms are touching, place your palms on the floor. If not, fingertips on the floor. Fingertips facing front. Lengthen the back. Then fully flex the feet, your heels and big toes are together. Then we will squeeze all the toes with an inhale and exhale, spread them wide like a monkey. Open all of them, try your best. Ex inhale, flex, exhale, open. Continue, one, and exhale, open. Third time, fourth time, inhale, bend. Exhale, open, four more to go. Inhale, squeeze as much as possible, more and more and more. And exhale, open wider, wider, wider. Ask your toes to cooperate if they don't want to. Then flex and open. Send your heels front, flex and open. Wonderful, keep going and flex and open. Now we're going to work on the ankle. So 
fully point the feet, extend the ankle. Imagine you want to touch the floor with your toes. Then inhale slowly as if through resistance. Pull the toes to you and press the heel towards the front. Fully press the heel to the front and toes are open. It's an active movement. Again, exhale fully, fully point as much as possible. Knees are straight. Then inhale, slowly, slowly flex. Again, exhale, point. And inhale, flex. One last one, exhale, point. Perfect, try your best. Inhale, flex, shake the legs. Now, open your feet wider than your pelvis. It means if I'm sitting on the mat, this would be approximately as wide as the mat. Then we are going to bend the knees slightly, not too much, approximately like that. Then three things we need to take care of. One, press the sitting bones down, you feel your back is lengthening. Second, press your heels down, you feel your leg muscles are active. Right, and place your palms on the floor, press the floor. Three things we keep, so we do not let go of this kind of pressing. Flex the feet fully, completely spread the toes. With an exhale, begin to open your knees and feet sidewise, but keep pressing the heels and the sitting bones. Then inhale, toes, knees looking up, directly up. And then exhale inward. We go inward, same way. Again, inhale up. Press the sitting bones, press the heels, exhale out. Inhale up, exhale inward. Again, inhale up, check that you do it simultaneously and symmetrically. Out, inhale up, exhale inward. Inhale up. Exhale, outward, stay there, do not change anything. Just slide your heels and connect your heels. You see, there is one line from the toes to heel, heel to toes, as if you are standing on the floor with your feet, right? So make sure you press the heels to each other and forward. Then we are going to inhale, reach your both arms up over the head. Exhale, open the arms sideways. Fully rotate your body towards your right side. Take hold of the right knee with the left hand from the outside and left hand goes behind your back. Actively pull the knee to you and resist with the knee. Roll your belly button to the right. Roll your chest, uh, ribs, and roll your sternum. Press the back hand into the floor or fingertips and turn your nose towards the back wall. Stay for five deep breaths, twisting. One, two, push the heels front, three, sitting bones down, four, little bit of a challenge, and five. Then inhale, long back, come back to the center and exhale, go over to the other side, same way. Take hold of the knee and this time again, press your heels front and to each other and rotate your body fully. From the belly button, then lower ribs, sternum and finally your nose. Who wants to go more? You can bring the back hand on the opposite hip, on the right hip and rotate. One, two, three, beautiful, four, and five. Lengthening the back, inhale, come back center. And this time, reach your arms over the head to lengthen the back more. Exhale, go forward, not down, forward, 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 as much as you can. Then dive your hands under and grip your feet from the top. If you are not reaching, it means bring the legs closer to you, then you will reach, right? Then 
pull the feet to you strongly, you will feel how your back is lengthening. Inhale, look front, either stay there if this is enough, or you can go deep forward, deep down. Stay lengthening the back, one, two, five, deep breath, three, four, and five, then first inhale, look at the front, keep the back long, then release your hands, unlock, inhale up, and exhale, place your hands behind your back, behind your pelvis, fingertips facing front if possible. Roll the shoulders back and down, keep your feet in one line. Open the chest, lean onto the outer feet, elbows straight. Inhale, lift your pelvis up, Look at the ceiling, stay one, pressing the feet, hips high, two, three, four, and five. Then slowly, slowly with control, come back, straighten the legs and shake the legs. Beautiful. Now bend the knees, place the feet standing on the floor, hip wide apart, so not as wide as before. Then expose your sitting bones, lift your glutes. You should be feeling sharp edges of the sitting bones pressing into the floor. Then let us flex the right foot fully. Then depending on your personal mood and, and uh, wish, yes, you can either interlock the fingers behind your foot or you can hold your ankle, four fingers under and thumbs on top. Alternatively, use the belt. This is always an option. Then first bring your thigh towards your chest and try to walk your chest up and press the sitting bones down so your back is not rounding. Yes, then inhale, straighten the leg front. If the leg is here, this is okay. Important is the back is not rounding, yes? So do according your feeling and capacity. If you want higher, you can. Exhale, go down, but more than, press your heel towards the butt cheek, squeeze in. Then again, inhale up. Exhale, squeeze the heel to the butt cheek. Again, inhale up. Exhale, squeeze the heel to the butt cheek. One last one, inhale up, stay there. Once again, press the sitting bones down to the floor, open the chest up, and now we point the foot and we flex four times. Exhale, point, you can be also holding here, this is okay. Exhale, flex, inhale, point, and flex, one last time point, keep the knee straight, exhale, flex, stay there. Then slowly, slowly straighten the other leg and flex the foot fully. Inhale, look up, exhale, place your heel on top of the toes. Again, inhale up, if you want you can take the leg closer to your chest, but do not round the back, walk your chest up. Exhale, down, keep the back long. Again, inhale up, exhale down. One last one, inhale up, stay. As high as possible, back as straight as possible, point the foot. Now a little bit of a challenge. We will be holding the leg without arms. So engage your abdomen, engage your spine, your crease of the thigh, the hip flex, hook the toes in the air, open the arms, stay. One, two, wonderful, keep going, be strong. Two, three, four, five. With control, bend the knee and straighten the leg, shake the legs. Come back to the same position, hip wide apart, bend the knees, place the feet standing. And we go to the left side. So you know where you place your hands already. Then bend the knee and walk your chest up, press the sitting bones to the floor. Then inhale up. Exhale, squeeze the heel to the butt cheek, open the collarbone. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze in. One more time. Inhale up, keep the back long. 
Exhale, squeeze the heel to the buttocks. Inhale, up. Stay there. Then open the chest, point the foot fully and flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Kneecap up. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. And slowly, slowly straighten the standing leg, the other leg. And press the right heel forward. Then inhale, look up. And exhale, place your heel on top of the toes. Again, inhale, look at your big toe. Exhale, go forward with a straight back. One more time, inhale, up. Exhale, down. One last time, inhale, up, stay there. Point the left foot, hold everything and open the arm sideways. One, staying, good, two, Back long, three, be strong, four, smile on the face, and five, slowly with control, bend the knee, straighten the legs, shake the legs, good. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee, bring the soles of the feet together. If needed, lift your pelvis and walk it forward. If you feel difficult in this position, you're welcome to use the blocks under your pelvis to lift the hips higher. So we will use a special technique to first open the hip joint to the outward rotation. Place your left hand behind the back. Do not drop your chest and do not round your low back. Try to keep it long. Does not matter if the knees are here or there. It, it's irrelevant. Place your right hand on top of the knee. We will just try first with you. Imagine and do. Press the knee up and the hand down, like one against the other. If you do it with a 50-50% of effort, hand 50%, leg 50, yes, one against the other. And there will be no movement, like the knee is not going up, not going down, but you will feel that the inner thigh muscles are getting strong. This is what we want. So let us try. Inhale through the nose, Place a hand, press, hold your breath for six counts. One, pressing, pushing, two, strongly, three, four, five, six. Exhale, relax fully everything and then gently press the knee down to the floor with your hand stay. Breathe in, breathe out. We do the same thing from this new starting position. Inhale right there, hold your breath, push against one another, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, relax fully and then bring the knee closer to the floor, stay. If you have time, you can repeat it three third time three times on each side. With an exhale, fully release the right hip joint. Just tell it, you don't need to worry, my dear hip joint, just relax. Good, now we will change. Right hand goes behind your pelvis on the right side. Left hand goes on top of the knee. Slightly press the knee down so you feel a bit of a stretch. And this is your starting point. So inhale deeply. Hold your breath, press one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, relax, and then pull the knee towards the floor. Do not overdo. The slower we go, the faster we arrive. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale. From this new starting point, press one. Two, three, great. Four, doing beautiful. Five, six, relax completely. Exhale, breathe normally and press the knee down. Maybe you're already noticing how fast your knees are going down to the floor with this very effective technique. Good, stay. 
Exhale completely, relax your left hip joint. Good. Now, for those who want a bit more, grip your feet. You can interlock your fingers, yes, underneath your toes. But important is the back is not rounding. Yes, so roll the shoulders back and down, open the chest front. If the, this is already enough, just stay. Try to maintain your balance and lengthen the back. Stay. If you want more, you can bend the elbows, not sideways, but backwards, and go forward. Try to go forward with a flat back. And my advice is not to go very fast in one go. Try to go a little bit, breathe there. Send your hips back and try to relax your hips. Then again, slowly, slowly go more forward, relax your hips. If you have control of your legs there, if you feel that you can, you can press your knees down and then go more forward. Your target is to send the sternum front and hips back. That's all you need. Just stay. One, two, three, four, and five. While you are staying there, try to stretch your inner thighs to the inner knees, one, and outer thighs in towards the pelvis. Yes, one more time. You can even place your hands here and try it. Stretch your inner thighs to the inner knees and back of the thigh to the pelvis. Wonderful. Then inhale with an Lifting your arms up, come up and exhale, relax and now we come up to standing. So come up to standing and spread your feet hip wide apart, not hip joint wide apart but hip wide like your outer hips. Make sure your outer feet are parallel to each other. Then lift all the toes up, spread the toes, place them firmly on the floor and same way Press the heels to the floor to feel that your legs are strong. Extend your shoulder to the elbow, to the wrist, to the fingertips and down to the floor. We will work on the chest opening a bit. So with an inhale, reach both arms up over the head. Like in the beginning of the class, interlock the fingers and press the heels of the palms up. This time, do not push the pelvis forward. Just open your chest front and up and try to take your arms a bit back, but not too much. Stay there five deep breath and try to lift your abdomen to the sternum, your sternum up and forward and arms back, stay. One, look at the front, active elbows, two, press the feet, three, four, Five. Then inhale, reach your both arms up, come back to the neutral position. After that, swing your arms sideways, take hold of your elbows. If you feel tightness in the hamstring, you can bend the knees for the next movement. If you are good to go, then just go forward, go forward, lift all the toes away from the floor and send your elbows down forward. One. Two, as if you are painting the floor in front of your toes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, stretching the low back down forward. Then again, inhale, reach your both arms up. Exhale, interlock the fingers. Inhale, press the heels of the palms up. Open the chest front and up and arms back. Stay one. Each inhale, opening more. Two. Three, four, and five. Again, neutral position, inhale up, lift all the toes up. Exhale, swing your arms sideways. You can micro bend the knees for this movement and go. One, two, three, four, five. This is with the bent knee also possible. Six, seven, eight, nine, sharp movement. Then again, inhale, reach up, exhale, relax your arms sideways. Next, we will open the feet a bit wider, approximately one meter apart. 
or maybe more. What is comfortable for you? Same way, inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, interlock the fingers. Inhale, press the heels of the palms up. And same way, you want to open the chest just like before. Open the chest front, but keep your balance by pressing the feet, heels and toes to the floor. Two, beautiful, three, four, and five. Inhale, come up, and this time exhale, open the arms sideways, twist towards your right leg. You can catch either your ankle, or if you feel you, um, it's easy for you, you can place a hand on the floor outside of the foot. Then look at the down hand, rotate your body, full twist, and look at the back wall, or if possible, at the fingertips of the upper hand. Reach your right hand up, one, staying, two, press the feet, lengthen the back, three, four, and five. Again, inhale, come up, reach up, exhale, interlock the fingers, inhale, press the heels of the palms, and again, open the chest, one, two, three, four, keep your balance, five. Inhale up, exhale, swing your arms, go over to the other side, press the palm, rotate your body, take the left arm up over the head, stay. If you want more, you can rotate your shoulder inward and grip your right thigh from the front and twist more, stay. One, two, Easier version would be hold the ankle or upper leg and stay. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, come back up and exhale. Swing your arms sideways. Take hold of your hips. Bring the elbows back. Roll the shoulders back and down. Open the chest front, look up. And exhale, fold from your hips and try to place your hands on the floor or fingertips. If difficult, you can use the blocks always. Then inhale, look front. I will show from the side. Inhale, look front. Here is very important to arch the back, especially the thoracic, the upper back, and look front. And then exhale, go forward active hands fingers open and try to walk your hands back your elbows are in line elbows are in line with your shoulders in line with your wrist and stay if your head is touching easily then close the legs bring them closer press your palms down and forward and lift your hips high, press the feet to the floor, two, three, stay, stay, four, and five. Then walk your hands front, inhale, look front, exhale, place your hands on the hips with a one long inhale, come up, and close the legs. Next. We will open the legs like before, approximately hip wide apart. Hip wide apart, we will work on the hamstring and the quadriceps. Roll the shoulders back and down, feel your nice standing and balance on the feet. Then inhale, bend the knees. We go to Utkatasana. Yes, stay. Look at the front for five. One, press the feet down. Two, Open the chest, three, four, and five. Then exhale, do not change anything. Flip your body forward, reach your fingertips front. Try to straighten the knees. If this is your capacity like parallel to the floor, just stay. If you want to go more, your target is fingertips forward and down. Not down, but forward and down. You can open the legs a bit wider, stay. Showing from the side. So our aim is hamstring 
up, crease of the thighs sharp, fingertips reaching front, look in between the hands. Do not lean on the floor, stay. Three, four, five. Again, right from the inhale, bend the knees, go to the chair pose. One, stay. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, go forward. Lift the hips high and stretch your arms front. You can be higher, does not matter. You can also micro bend the knees, but I would prefer to keep them straight and body a bit higher up. Two, three, open the chest, four, and five. One last time. Inhale, chair pose, one. Sweating, two, good, 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 three, four, five. Exhale, down, reach forward, try your best. Try, try, two, three, four, and five. One more time, inhale, chair pose. And from there, slowly pressing through the feet, come up to standing and relax your hands sideways. Next, we will again open the feet just like before towards your comfortable position. Make sure do not sink in the hips, send them forward. Then inhale, open the arms sidewise, press the feet to the floor. Exhale, interlock the fingers behind your back. Inhale, open the chest like in the beginning of the class, hips forward. And exhale, go forward, 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 forward. Press your heels of the palms if possible. If not, you can lock the fingers in this way or in that way. Everything is good, just stay. One, move your sternum away from the belly button. Two, three, keep your balance. Four, and five. Then slowly bending the elbows, unlock your fingers, place them on the floor, little bit front of your legs. Then inhale, this is a very important movement. Move your shoulders towards the pelvis. Inhale, open the chest to the front. Arch your upper back, collarbones wide. Then exhale, walk towards the right side. Turn your right foot 90 degrees parallel to the long side of the mat and tuck the left toes under. Both hands are on the inner side of the right foot. You can use the blocks for height. Then open the chest front, look front. Back knee straight, toes active. We are bouncing up and down hips. One, look front, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, great, eight, more up and more down, nine, ten. Then inhale, look at the front, engage your feet, exhale, do not rush. Walk over to the center, feet in parallel position, same way, very important movement. Inhale, look front. Lengthen your back, then exhale, walk towards the left foot, turn the left foot parallel to the long side of the mat, tuck the back toes under and look at the front, bouncing, one, up and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, again, inhale, look front, Exhale, walk your hands to the center. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, walk to the right side, turn the feet like before. Then you can do what you did before. Alternatively, what you can do where your hands are, there you can place your elbow. So try not to take the elbow back, elbow bit forward. Then interlock your fingers and fully straighten the back knee. Send your chest front. Do not let yourself round the back. Send the chest front. And again, same bouncing, lowering the left hip down. You will feel more in the right hip joint. One, two, great, three. Look front, four, five, six, seven. Back toes strong, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Come onto the hands, look front, inhale. 
Breathe out, come back to the center, same way. Inhale there, open the chest, exhale, walk to the other side, left foot out, back toes tucked under. Place your elbows forward, forward, interlock the fingers, look front. Chest forward and go, one. Lower the hip down, two. Three, four, five, active back toes and front foot, six, seven, eight, look forward, nine, ten. Inhale, come up on the hands, exhale, walk center, stay there. Again, check the feet are in parallel position. Now a bit of a challenge. Turn out the right foot 45 degrees. Only the one foot, yes? Then bend the right knee exactly in line with the second toe, so not forward. In line with the second toe, flex the left foot. If you feel the feet are too far away from each other, just move the left foot more in. So the heel is coming closer to the sitting bone. You can also be there, this is okay, or you can lift the heel away from the floor, fine. Then here we will micro bounce, not too much, just to feel that muscle, yes? One, slowly, slowly. Two, feeling, keep the knee straight. Three, four, chest forward, and five. Then come back to the center, feet in parallel position. Inhale, look front like before. Exhale, left foot out, 45 degrees. Bend the left knee in line with the second toe. Flex the right foot, we go. One, two, three, four, five, then one more time, inhale, come back center, feet parallel, inhale, look up, arch the back, open the chest front, exhale, turn the right foot out, 45 degrees, go over to the right side, now we will stay there, if possible, adjust your elbow against the knee and place the fingertips on the floor. You will be pushing the arm to the knee and the knee to the arm. The other hand goes on top of the other knee and you feel how, you not feel, you do, you stretch the inner thigh of the left leg from the groin towards the knee. And stay, one, two, Three, open the chest, back is straight, four, and five. Then slowly, slowly place your hand on the floor. Do not go forward yet, yes? just stay. Stay, if it's enough, stay. If you can, you can walk your hands front, but keep your back long, do not round your back. Do not, and do not drop the knee forward. The opposite, lift the arch of the foot up and lean onto the outer foot, moving the knee to the back wall. Then press the left heel down and extend the inner thigh towards the heel and heel to the wall. Stay, two, three, four. Beautiful challenge, five. Then inhale, walk your hands towards you. Come back to the center again. Inhale, open the chest front. Exhale, left foot 45 degrees, walk to the left, flex the right foot. First thing, adjust the elbow against the knee and place your fingers on the floor. The other hand goes on top of the right knee. You are going to press the knee away from you with the elbow and resist with the knee. And stretch the inner thigh actively with your own muscle towards the heel. Stay one. Good, two, three, four, five. Then place your hands on the floor. Keep moving the left knee to the back and lifting up the left arch of the foot. Then slowly, slowly, you can either stay there, keeping your back long, or you can walk front, walk front, hands not close, a bit wider and stretch your right inner thigh, straight leg inner thigh towards the inner knee. And take your left knee to the back, stay one. Beautiful, two, three, perfect, four, 
Okay, two fingers, five survivors. Okay, good, great. Now inhale, come up. Inhale, look front. Exhale, walk towards your right side. Place your hands on the floor. Step back into the plank pose. Open the chest. Then shift your body weight forward. Drop your body down. Place, press the fingers and go back to the child pose. Rest a few moments there. From the child pose, go on four legs, walk your hands front and just lie flat on the floor. Stretch your arms forward, place your forehead on the floor and just feel the contact with the floor for a few moments. Press the hips down, top of the feet down, fingers, palms down. Then with an inhale, lift your head and shoulders up and go adjust your elbows a bit in towards your chest. The distance is this, so where you can grab your elbows. This is the distance between your elbows. Then roll the shoulders back and down, point the feet, stretch the feet towards the back wall. Place the palms firmly on the floor and pull the floor towards you and try to open the chest front. Just stay. One, two, three, toes back, chest front, four, and five. Then sliding your elbows sideways, rest your forehead on top of the hands. Breathe. One more time, we go to the same, elbows in, pull the mat towards your chest and open the chest front. Shoulder blades down to the pelvis, one, legs active, two, three, good, 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 four, and five. Who wants to continue? This is my right hand. I will move it in towards the left side, yes, so I will turn my arm here. Then I will bend the left knee, left hip on the floor. I will try to grab the left foot from the inner side. If this is enough for you, just stay. We aim for the quadriceps front of the thigh, stretch. If you want to go to the full posture, you will bring the heel closer to your buttocks and then either stay, but best full posture would be to rotate your shoulder inward, inward, press the heel outside of the hip, not towards the hip, outside, and then turn your whole body front and open the chest, stay. The other foot is active, one, two, good, open the chest more, three, four, and five, slowly with control, release the foot. Come back to the same position with the elbows first. Check your center. Then you can turn the left palm towards the right wall, where it's comfortable for you. Press the elbow and arm to the floor. Bend the other knee, grip the foot from the inner side, go half posture, or if you want to go full posture, rotate the elbow. Rotate the shoulder forward, elbow facing up towards the ceiling. Then press the heel outside of your hip and try to open the chest front. Orient your shoulders to the front of you. One, two, three, sternum up, four, and five. Then slowly let go. Let go, place your hands on the floor, then place them nearby your ribs, push the floor, shift your hips back, rest in the child pose. From the child pose, we come onto four legs. Make sure your hands under your shoulders and your knees are underneath your wrists. Then inhale, reach your right leg up in line with your spine, more or less. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. I'm gonna move a bit forward on the mat. In between your hands. 
tuck the back toes under, then active front foot, 90 degree angle between the shin bone and the mat. Press the foot into the floor and press the back toes into the floor. Then, if possible, while one hand, the other hand on the knee, you can interlock the fingers, press the knee away from you. Now, shift your, roll your pubic bone to the belly button, shift your hips forward and down. But keep your toes of the back leg active, just stay. One, two, looking front, three, four, and five. Then inhale, reach up, exhale, place your hands on the floor, lift your hips up, shift your weight to the back leg, flex the front foot, and for the beginning, you can rest the foot or tuck the toes under, both are good. Just keep your back long. You can use the blocks for the height. Stay. Two, opening the chest forward, shoulders back. Three, four. Uh, ready for the challenge, yes? Now we're gonna do a little challenge. Press the palms to the floor, inhale, lift the right leg up, stay. One, away from the floor, two, Three, look at the big toe, be strong, four, five, then place the heel on the floor, again, go forward to the same position, tuck the back toes under, again, one hand the other on top of the knee, orient your pelvis forward, forward, open the chest, inhale, reach your both arms up, exhale, interlock the fingers, inhale, press the palms up, like in the beginning of the class, only try to open the chest. Do not go backward bending, just open the chest front, stay. Hips down forward, two, three, four, five. Inhale up, exhale, hands on the floor, shift your hips back, long back and lift the front leg. One, two, three, four, Five, place the heel on the floor and begin to slide the front leg front. Do not open the hip, yes, try to square the hips. Go towards your comfortable split position, maybe it's here, then use the blocks to help you uh, to be a bit higher and stay. Just stay, if you're already on the floor, press the palms away from you to open the chest. Good. Right hip in, left hip forward. Then inhale, press the palms to the floor, or if you have blocks, to the blocks. Lift your pelvis high, as if you want to close the legs together strongly. Press the legs to each other and down to the floor. One, active legs, two, maybe shaking is okay, three, four, Five, exhale, relax, go deeper down, stay. Breathe, little bit left. Huh? One more time, inhale, hips up. Imagine like a crocodile closing its mouth. Same way you are closing the legs together. Two, press the front heel to the floor and back foot to the floor. Three, four, five, and exhale, relax, good. Beautiful, stay for a while. Then slowly press onto the hands. You can spend more time if you wish. Then slowly move the leg in, 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 and go rest in the child pose. You can bring your arms back also, staying. Again, come back to the four-legged position. We go to the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg in line with the spine and exhale, step in between your hands. Then if you feel this is not enough stretch, you can move your back knee more towards the back, right? Open the chest front and first place your hands on top of the knee. Then press the front foot to the floor and back toe, so the pressure does not go towards the knee. Right, then send your hips forward and down. Look at the front, open the chest. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इनहेल अप एंड एक्सेल प्लेस योर हैंड्स ऑन द फ्लोर लिफ्ट योर हिप्स शिफ्ट योर वेट बैक यू कैन पॉइंट द फुट ऑन टक द टोज ऑन द फ्लेक्स द फुट स्टे लॉन्ग बैक वन चेस्ट फॉरवर्ड हिप्स बैक टू परफेक्ट थ्री फोर एंड फाइव इन हेयर लिफ्ट योर लेग अप स्टे वन टू गो गो थ्री फोर फाइव लेग डाउन गो फॉरवर्ड Tuck the back toes and the same way. Open the chest when ready. Place your hands on top of the knee. Active front foot, active back foot. Then inhale, reach your both arms up. Exhale, interlock. Press the heels of the palms up and only open the chest. Do not go to the low back or back bending. Just chest. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale up, exhale. Hands on the floor. Shift your hips back, and again for strength in the back. Then suck the belly in. Try to lift the leg. One, two, three, four, five. Place a heel on the floor and begin to slide the leg forward towards your comfortable split level for today. Do not force. Do not overdo. Just stay. Then press the blocks or press the floor. Inhale, come up. Squeeze the legs together. Knees straight. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Relax fully. Stay. Stay. Look front. Good, good, good. One more time. Breathe in. Come up. Squeeze your legs together. Left hip in. Right hip in. Two. Three, four, five. Exhale. Go down. Stay. Try to square your hips as much as possible. Then slowly come up. Come up. Lift your hips. Send your legs back and rest in the child pose. Come back from the child pose, then cross your ankles behind you. Walk your hands back, sit back, and straighten your legs in the front. First, flex the feet. Make sure heels together, big toes together. Then bend the right knee. Place the foot on the floor. Then cross over at the knee level. After that, you can bend the left leg and point the foot. The heel goes next to the buttocks. Next to the buttocks. From here, what you want to do? With a flat back, right hand behind your back. First, go back. And lengthen the back to create space between your leg and your belly. Then inhale, reach your right arm up first. Then rotate your body towards the right side. Then go forward, forward. Forward as much as possible. Bend the elbow. Adjust the elbow against the left knee. Then press the left foot down to the floor. Press the elbow to the knee, and press the back fingertips down to the floor. Just stay. One. Look to the back wall. Two. Three. Who wants the full posture? You can grip your foot. Three. And then place the hand on the hip four point the foot five then same way back inhale up exhale place both hands on the floor first straighten the left leg then change the right leg straighten both legs and we go to the other side so we bend the left knee cross over then fold the right leg Foot is pointed next to the sitting. If the sitting bone is lifting, this is okay for you. Do not worry for now. Then press the front foot to the floor. It's active. Lean back with the left hand, but keep your back long. Then inhale with the right, 
Lent in the back, rotate your body, then reach forward, 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 and adjust your shoulder or elbow against the knee. Press the knee with the shoulder or elbow, and the knee towards the elbow, and the back fingertips pressing the floor. Stay one, look to the back, two, three, four, five. Who wants the full posture? You can grip your foot, yes? And then place the left hand on the thigh. This is also possible. And then inhale, right arm up, exhale, down. Straighten the right leg, change, straighten both legs and go lie on your back. Lie on your back and place your feet on the floor outside of your hips, feet in parallel position, toes not running outwards, toes looking to the front. He heels wider than your hips. Then place your active hands on the floor, press the feet, inhale, lift your pelvis up and stay. Lift your belly up, lift your chest up. One, two, press the palms, press the shoulder. You can interlock your fingers and press the shoulders to the floor. Two, three, four, and five. Exhale, slowly come back down, bring the knees towards your chest, interlock the fingers, exhale, nose to the knees, one, two, three, four, and five, then inhale, head down, exhale, place the feet standing, we we'll do one last thing, something really nice, right? So drop the knees towards the right side, then grip the left foot, bring it under the butt cheek if possible. A little bit outside. You should be feeling the stretch in the front of the thigh and the quad, right? Front of the hip and front of the thigh, stay. Just relax there. Imagine you send the bent knee Left knee forward and left foot up to the head. If you want to increase the stretch, you can grab the knee towards the armpit, staying. Just relax there. Feel the nice and lovely stretch in the front of the hip. For all the people who sit a lot, especially in the office, this is number one stretch to help you Release the tension in your lower back, in your lumbar spine. The iliopsoas muscle, the hip flexor, it needs both strengthening, we did it today in the class, we have already done it, and lengthening, which we are doing right now as well. Again. Good, stay. Stay as long as you wish, when you are done, you can bring the feet back to standing. First, check your middle spine on the floor, knees are parallel to each other, and drop your knees to the other side, catch the foot, bring the right foot under or outside of the right butt cheek, and pull the knee of the right leg to the front, and the toes to the head stay. If you want to increase the stretch, take hold of the other hip, other knee and stay. One, two, relax completely. Three, four, begin to pay attention to your breath. Inhale slowly, deeply through the nostrils. Relaxing your body. Then one last time, place the feet standing to counterbalance, just in case we are gonna hug the knees again. With an exhale, nose to the knees. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, head down. Exhale, place the feet on the floor and straighten the legs.
Straighten the legs, spread the legs hip wide apart, let the toes drop where they like to drop, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Find a very comfortable position for you and relax a few seconds. As you inhale, expand the abdomen. And as you exhale, feel how the abdomen drops back to the spine. If you have time and if you feel like it, you can stay in Savasana for 5 to 10 minutes. Otherwise, we will spend just 30 seconds there. Focus on how the air enters the nostrils, how each molecule of the air is touching your nostrils from the inside. And the air is traveling a very imaginary way towards the belly button, which is going up towards the ceiling. And as the exhale, the belly deflates, belly button drops down to the spine, and the air comes out of the nostrils. So feel the beautiful, feel the steady, uninterrupted, smooth, enjoyable flow of your breath. Slow down your breath. Relax your forehead, relax your jaw joint, relax the muscle, muscles around the eyes and around the mouth. Feel the effect of the practice and enjoy the process of breath. Then slowly, without opening the eyes, place both feet standing on the floor, knees bent up to the ceiling. Roll onto your right side, do not rush. When ready, come up to sitting position with the legs crossed in front of you, but do not open your eyes immediately. Place your hands on top of the knees, if possible in the Jhana Mudra, index and thumb together, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Stay with yourself for a few moments. Feel your breathing. Your breathing is an indication of your health. And if the practice was good for you, your breath should have improved by now. Bring the palms together in front of your chest and now we are going to rub the palms until they are hot. And one more time, cover your eyes. Then cover your face, your cheeks. And one last time, bring the hands together in front of your chest, relax your shoulders, elbows. And with an exhale, rest your forehead on the top of the fingertips. Slowly come back. Open your eyes. Namaste and thank you for everyone. I hope you have enjoyed the practice. Let me know in the comments what did you like, what was difficult, what was challenging, what was useful and what needs more clarity. Thank you.